it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week I had a lot of requests for this one. How to style a leopard print coat. So I love that I got this question but I also think it can be applied to statement coats in general. So I've got I think I'm hoping about 10 looks for you and I'm actually going to break them down into either a styling element that you've probably heard me use in other videos or style vibes, so just the overall look, rather than focusing on this is how I wore it and this is what I paired it with because everybody's closets are different and I think the best way for you to get use out of your statement coats is looking at it from more of like a elements of style perspective and less, oh well, now I have to wear it with this specific item. But before we jump into it, for those of you who are new, welcome. Every week I talk about slow fashion with a heavy focus on the principles of minimalism. So using and loving what you already have and making smart shopping decisions so that you can create a closet full of clothes that you actually love and wear. So if that sounds like your jam, hit subscribe below. I post every Sunday. And for those of you who are coming back, big hello and welcome to you. Thank you so, so much for coming back and watching. Let's jump in. How to style the leopard print coat or just any statement coat that you have in general. The first way you can go about styling a leopard or statement coat is by wearing a completely monochromatic outfit underneath. You've seen me do this plenty of times as just a styling hack to look chic, so if you're not sure about wearing a pretty bold coat, then going monochromatic underneath is a great and easy way to ease into wearing this piece. I chose all black because it pulls from the colors in the coat. However, if you want to make a bolder, more playful statement, go with a contrasting color or a complementary color to your statement coat. I love this one because it elongates the body, makes us look taller. If you don't have the same colored shoe, go for something nude or in the same tone as the rest of your look. I think it's so easy for us to shy away from wearing a bold statement coat to the office or in a professional setting, but I say go for it. The key to making this work is by making sure that everything else in your look is understated, classic, timeless, and has a lot of structure and authority to it. So I've kept my look fairly neutral with that one hit of red in the belt, and I've kept it quite modest by pairing it with a nice sheer black tight. I've buttoned up the collar so as not to let the leopard get away with the whole look, and it still looks nice and polished and professional. I loved dressing this super glam vintage coat down for a more street style look and a couple of points that I think are absolutely great for a coat that is a little bit chunky or heavier like a teddy coat is by incorporating your cross body bag. So it doesn't have to be a fanny pack, it could even be a cross body purse that is shortened to sit underneath the coat. This allows you to show off your handbag and not have to fiddle with it sitting over top of a bulky coat. I absolutely love this. There are no other elements competing with the coat for this look, so it's really easy to pull off. However, if you are wearing a sneaker or a flat shoe, make sure the hem of your coat is falling at a place that is still flattering for you. That's going to be the trick to making this one work. Layers. Obviously, I was ecstatic to be wearing all denim in this look, but I think it was such a neat trick to throw a denim jacket underneath your statement coat. It doesn't have to be a denim jacket. It could be a blazer or a leather or faux leather moto jacket. The point is, is that you're layering a second coat underneath your first to create a little bit more dimension and interest. I chose to go with the whole Canadian tuxedo because why not? I'm Canadian. And just make sure that your base layer is nice and light and fine so that, you know, you can still move your arms. <laughs> I think nothing elevates a statement coat more than adding a belt to it. This is great if you want to add a little bit more shape and cinch in your waist. 
If your coat is heavier or more substantial like this one, then in my opinion, you're going to want a belt that can handle that kind of weight and texture. So something thick or even a pretty bold color so that it doesn't look awkward against the bulk of the coat. Adding complementary or contrasting colors or combinations of colors to your statement or leopard print coat is a great way to make a bold, elevated look really interesting. So you've got to be ready for that to, you know, maybe turn some heads. In my opinion, any animal print in its natural form acts as a neutral, so you can pretty much wear any color or any combination of colors with it. What's important to remember is that you're using color to make a statement here, so just make sure that it doesn't compete or blend too much with the colors in your statement coat. Personally, I think it's silly to think that every coat we own has to match perfectly with the garments that already exist in our closet, but if you want to have a contrasting color underneath your coat but not make such a bold statement, then I would soften the whole look with a nice, soft, lighter neutral like cream. This takes the edge off of the leopard or any kind of statement-making elements of your statement coat. One of my favorite styling hacks and one of the most effective styling hacks in my opinion is mixing and matching varying styles of garments together. So I chose the furthest style away from a leopard print coat. So we normally think glam and upscale when you think leopard print. So I went preppy and androgynous. And all I did was pair a simple pair of slacks, buttoned up a denim shirt all the way to the top, and added a belt and a pair of brogues. So I'm really using menswear inspired pieces and preppy styling hacks to give this leopard print coat a totally different look. Another great styling hack is mixing and matching your prints. And I think having a big print or bold printed coat is a little scary when you think of pairing it with something else as equally bold, but it's totally doable. Just make sure that your prints are contrasting in shape. That way they don't compete against each other. So the large block plaid in my skirt doesn't compete with the leopard print because they're very different. And there is a grounding color in the two of them. That color is black. Because the interest here is in the mixing of those two prints, I kept everything else pretty simple. Neutral colors, except for that little red shoe and bag, because they also worked with the base of the plaid. Finally, I think it's so fun to style your leopard print or statement coat in the most fancy and elevated way possible. And here I think it's totally fine to take a more is more approach. I mean, that's what it's made for, right? To add drama, I think the contrasting silhouette is key here. The bulk and heaviness of my coat contrasts really nicely with the sleek column silhouette of my gown, giving it a more elevated look. This is also a great opportunity to wear your coat as a cape because, I mean, when else can you do that in real life? So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas of how to style your leopard print coat, but I also hope that even if you don't have a leopard print coat, but perhaps you have a statement coat, that this has really helped you come up with looks around that piece, because I know those bolder pieces are kind of intimidating, so I'm hoping they help you get some more use out of those pieces and stretch them in your closet. Uh, I'd love to know which look you thought was your absolute favorite. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to sign up for the newsletter, which is new. I will link to that below as well. Uh, like this video, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back next week with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao!